Here she comes, Mavis, our tea lady. Ma- Mavis? Mavis, what are you doing? Mavis! Yes. What? What's with the hoovering? Moths. Eh? Order of the boss. Mr Gibbs? Yes. Lots of moths in here, apparently. So I've got me dirt buster. Just put a new bag in it. Well, why now? Maybe it's the too many moths, he said. Suck them up. Well, it doesn't seem very fair on the moths. No, I know. Well, in the old days, we used to hang up moth balls. Everyone's clothes stunk, but there weren't no moths. Hang on, it's blocked up. I know, you've just sucked up one of my socks. Hey, look. What? Spider, up there. Where? There, hanging by the light. Well, that's Harry. Oh, I don't care what you call him. He's got to go. Mm. Look, if you lean that way a bit... There, got him. Sorry, Harry. Hang on. I'll get me trolley. I'll just unplug this. Back in a mo. I don't know what's come over Mavis today. She's already been round with the duster. It's a new regime. Health and safety or summit. Everything has to be clean, Mr Gibbs says. No moths. Hmm, well, fair enough. So what's on the trolley? Special today. Mr Grover fixed my oven last week. So you can have chips if you want. Hmm. Chip butty, that'd be nice, Mavis. No problem. Got some lovely soft bread that you like. Oh, yeah. Tasty. There you are. Eat it while it's hot. Mmm. Tea? Mmm. One sugar. Right you are. Bit of a carry-on upstairs. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't like to eavesdrop. You know me. But I was looking through the keyhole in accounts and there was a lot of shouting going on. Really? Yes. Somebody, and they don't know who, ordered five pallets of toilet rolls. Well, I always fetch them on my way in on Mondays. Two big packs a week at most. Anyway, lorry turned up yesterday, apparently. Two thousand rolls. Took four of them to unpack them and get them up the stairs. Mr Gibbs is furious. Well, who ordered them? Well... Between you and me, I think it was Mr Grover. He's been drinking more lately. Has he? Mm. Two bottles of scotch a day, they reckon. Percy the plumber's seen him, swigging behind the lockers. And he hasn't come out of his room since. Oh dear. Yes. There's your tea. Yeah, thanks, Mavis. How's your dog? Sedgley. Well... I think we finally cured his constipation. Oh, that's a relief. Yes. Put him on cat food instead. Really? Yes. Vet said it was something in the dog food that was churning up inside him. Anyway, it's stopped now. He still runs like a crab, but Mrs Althrop next door takes him for walks and will run up the park when I'm out. Oh, that's good. Well, almost... Since he's been on the cat food, he don't bark no more. He's scratching the furniture, and he started licking his bum. Enjoy your tea. <laughs> 